farmers and ranchers are playing a waiting game. The drought outlook and recovery this year depends on how much moisture we get in the next few months. We've been in a much more active uh, drought pattern really since the start of the century. If, never, if you go back and look at um, over time, the 30s, the 50s, the 70s, the late 80s, we see droughts in Nebraska. We saw the really uh, uh, severe drought in 2002. We saw drought a couple years after that, and then we saw the drought last year in 2012. So it's not uncommon to see droughts, but this drought, what was interesting was it was not only the hottest year on record in Nebraska, but it was also the driest year. So we had the combination of both heat and dryness in the same year. What had happened was uh, the temperatures stayed warm, well above normal. We had a real early green up as far as uh, uh, the agricultural conditions in the state. And then uh, uh, as we went into summer, all of a sudden the, the precipitation shut off about uh, middle of May, first part of June around the state, and, and that's when we saw the drought, the drought really start to develop. So. Uh, in contrast, this year has been better. We've, we've been more typical of what, what I would call a Nebraska winter and spring. And unfortunately, it wasn't as good a winter and fall as we would have liked to have seen, but this recent bout of rains is really going to help. Uh, but it'll just be more in the short term. We'll get things up and growing, but we still have some longer term deficits, particularly with regards to deep soil moisture and even water levels. I think, you know, we, we would still need to get uh, precipitation above normal in the, in the range of probably six to eight inches across the state to really dampen down the, the, the impacts and the problems from the drought last year. 